Emotions are all triggered by hormones secreted by the brain. They are the messengers who do the work. So, what do we do to improve our happiness hormones level so that negativity does not rear its ugly head? Well, when we know that all of our senses essentially report to the brain, we realize that we need to work on the external factors in life. It is known that about 40% of the happiness quotient is in our genes. That leaves another 60%, more or less, that is dependent on external factors, sight, sound, smell, taste and touch, mainly the senses of interaction with the world outside. Kakeras and Bash, 2021. The trick then is to fix the external factors around us and how they affect us, because the core problem that contributes to depression and or anxiety is usually a result of our environment. Let us examine the problem closely and see how negativity rises and colours our emotions. Science has come around to the view that what we see and perceive is a projection of what our minds want to see. Sounds mystical, right? But it's true. So what's the trick? Before we get to that, we need to see exactly where the problem lies, the mechanics of it. Let's start with our sense of sight, the preeminent sensory device of the human body. When you get up in the morning and open your eyes, what's your first reaction? Ah, another bright day? Or is it, oh, God, another day to get through? If you are more aligned with the former, then you are doing great. But that does not mean that this book is not for you. You have to keep that wonderful feeling going. But if your reaction is the latter, the, oh, God, variety, you're going to need to work on your positivity. This book is going to tell you exactly how to do that naturally.